All right, I'm out of this, this park where I was. I was here a while back, but I was on the other end of the park. And I caught, I uh, surprised myself on a grasshopper crankbait, caught almost a two pound bass when I didn't think there would be anything that big here. I also just had a couple stop me and ask if there were fish in this area because it dries up when it's not raining. So this is all rainwater. I'm seeing fish splashing over here, so I'm gonna cast out and check it out. But the water on this end is a lot shallower than over there. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of tries. Keeping a close eye on the water for any movement. But I also gotta watch my step out here. All right, it cuts off about right here. So if there's anything worth catching, it would be trapped between, between where I just was and over here. So whatever I saw moving must have been too small to catch or I would have seen it already. There are some small, small bait fish swimming around over here. Probably shouldn't go this route, but I'm heading down there. There's two paths that go around this tree. One up here, flat level ground, and then this one that's probably mostly mud, and I might slip the ball, so. found a potato. I don't know why there would be a potato out here. Actually it looks pretty good. It's edible. They don't grow wild out here. There's a whole bunch of potatoes here. I don't think they grow wild out here. There's like four of them. They all look pretty good actually. Like if I were starving to death, that would be something to eat that I could survive on. All right, I'm gonna cross this old pipeline here and see if there's anything visible. Mm. Don't see any fish. And I can see ripples, like there's little bait fish here hitting the surface, but I don't see any. All right, all the catchable fish that I've seen out here, they've all been north of this pipeline. And everything, everything south of this has just been little bait fish. And you can see this kind of works like a dam, so there's a buildup, there's a lot of leaves and stuff built up here, a bunch of trash, trash cans. But it wouldn't be far-fetched to see any fish right here in this area because it gets down it gets to about four feet on my left side here and I have seen like sunfish that get to a decent size on this end and baby bass so there should be some all over the place here but I'm not seeing any you know what I'm going to put this right here so it doesn't fall off into the water and I'm going to try to cast out this way. Because if there are any fish, they're going to be on this end. And there's something there. Something just popped the surface right there and ate something. I just saw something else splash a little further up the creek there, so... They might be active today. It's kind of warm today compared to how it's been. It's, it froze last week, but it's 70 something degrees right now. So hopefully the water temperature has moved up and the fish have gotten active. But I don't know. I was just 
This is going to be a tough spot to pull them in from. Today is the first day of winter, officially. Although I've always kind of considered December, all of December and most of November to be winter myself personally because it's usually cold. But today is officially the first day of winter. And it is 75 degrees right now, at, at least. It could be warmer. So I'm seeing if the fish, it froze here last week. So I'm seeing maybe with the warmer temperatures now, the fish decided to become more active. I never knew it before either, but I keep hearing, I've always heard those pops. I never knew what it was. There's actually a gun club around here. I saw it for the first time today. I never knew what it was. Never went over onto that area. And I'm trying not to slip in the mud. And there I go, slipping into the mud. And I can't get back. Ah. Man. I thought having this tree in front of me would help me keep my balance, but nope, that did not help at all. Oh, I think either I was snagged or I had a bite there. That one, didn't even know I had, that's not a bad one at all, there we go. <laughs> First official fish of the winter. Not a bad. Okay. Not a bad one, it's got a good weight to him. This one's on a Senko. It's probably not quite a keeper size, but let's get a measurement on them anyway, or weight on them anyway. 1.20, huh? Not bad. I guess I was getting some bites out there. I had felt a couple of tugs on it, and I thought maybe I was snagged because they weren't fighting too hard. But uh, this one was this one got the hook. And we try to get the water in the background there. All right, one point two zero, and I can't get too close to the water. To let him go here, but uh, there we go. Let me get that Senko back out there. Now, earlier when I said today was the winter solstice, I didn't mean like the day that you're sitting there watching this video. I mean the day that I'm actually out here filming and fishing is the winter solstice. Today is December 21st. You're watching this, it's probably, uh, see I had a video come out today. So this would probably be December 23rd. If you watch it the day, day it comes out. If not, then I have no idea what day you might be watching it. Anyway, since it's uh, officially winter and the fishing has slowed down drastically for the rest of the winter until springtime comes back around, I might have to change up my uh, the content a bit. I might have to be doing more explore exploration videos with uh, Jake. I might, I'm probably going to start scouting out some areas that were inaccessible to me before, but now that it's winter, all the vegetation is dying down and I might be able to get in there now. So I might scout out some places like that, see if there's any places that might hold some fish but not necessarily fish in those places, if you know what I mean. Pretty much just a uh, location scouting. Hopefully I can keep catching fish and I don't have to change up my content too much, but I'm probably gonna be doing more of the other things that I do besides fishing, just because it's, it's slowed down so much.